The cleanup continued today in Griffin, which was nailed with an EF3 tornado that happened on Thursday night. 11 Alive's Kara Spelcher spent the day there talking with families as they begin their recovery. We thought you were going to die? Yes, I did. Tiffany Roberts still remembers how she felt while she waited for a tornado to pass through her home of Griffin, Georgia. It's been a moment that you, I can never say prepare yourself for death, but you feel like death is right staring you right in the face. Robert says she was with family inside the house that once stood on this spot when she felt the windows shake. You felt the vibration of it coming. It was right up on us. So I seen no world. I just seen gray. And I said it's here. And just ran for the tube and dived in. She finally returned to the house on Kendall Drive today. There was nothing left. Kendall Drive in Griffin, Georgia was once filled with family homes. Now the street is cluttered with debris left over from Thursday's tornado. It was a similar sight around the city as work crews chopped away at downed trees and repaired broken power lines. Some, like David Williams, are still waiting for help. They just cleaned the streets off, but other than that, we ain't seen nobody. Williams spent Saturday inside his mother's house where a large tree caved in part of the roof. That part of the house is the laundry room, but that last one the back there, yeah. that's where my mom's room is. Like countless others, Williams says he's trying to pick up the pieces, but he says he's been able to rely on his community. And my brother-in-law, he came through with his back hole and cleared off all the streets. For now, he says it's a waiting game as he and his neighbors begin to recover. <laughs> in Spalding County, Karis Belger, 11 Alive News. Another